The last show I want to recommend today on my list of fantastic TV shows is Lost. Now, Lost is probably up there with Fringe, you know, being one of my favourite TV shows of all time. And I'm, I'm look, I'm not going to say it's not got its faults. Sure, Lost has its faults, and the the ending for Lost wasn't wasn't maybe what we all wanted, but. I always say to myself, what else could we have had instead of our end into Lost? And for me, I don't know what, I, what else I could really say would, would have worked better. Um, I'm sure there was something that could have worked better, but for me, I, I don't know what it could be. But again, very, very similar to the Fringe that I mentioned previously, the mythology of Lost is why I enjoy that show. The, you know, we've got this show, the show, a plane arrives on this mysterious island and it surely is the most mysterious island ever uh, we see loads of weird events happen to the survivors of this plane crash over the the many seasons of lost and it is the mythology that really i enjoy the, like the dharma initiative the you know we see the characters develop and we see the links with the dharma initiative over this show as well um, the show for me is just creatively um, a masterpiece just like the storylines on it some of the storylines uh, were really fantastic I, I mean I think for example like Desmond his his story when he was doing like the time traveling and then, then I think it was one episode in particular he was like, doing a lot of time traveling was great uh, the stuff with John Locke uh, I mean the first moment when John Locke says so like we hunt and he throws the knife uh, he just, he was always a standout character for me, John Locke, and I, I, I mean, Faraday as well, Daniel Faraday, he was, he was a great show character, I really liked him over the years, he turned out to be a surprising addition that I didn't know whether I'd, I'd like initially, but I really liked Faraday, um, but yeah, it's a great, really good show, it's not really a sci-fi show, I'd say it's more like a, in the, in the realm of sort of like realism and fantasy mixed together, and I suppose there is some form of sci-fi sci elements in, but it's not like a heavy sci-fi elements as in with Fringe. But it is a show of mystery, and that is that is what I like about Lost. And even watching it back, I've watched it back a few times since the original release, and just seeing the mystery and seeing like the the hatch as well. Oh wow, the, the that hatch when they go into that hatch for the first time, and we see the light. Or when they when they see the light go up, shine up, it, it, it was just a fantastic moment to watch, and um, it was just it was TV history. I remember when that show first launched, and the papers. It was all in the papers, and you don't get that with TV shows now, really. It's very very weird to to imagine that. And it was such a it felt like a big change in TV at the time, and I, I feel like it did change the way we all perceive what TV is now and it is a fantastic show and I would really really recommend if you've not already watched Lost to give it a try because I I think it is it gets a thumbs up with me definitely thumbs up all the time Lost does